This is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today, once again, I am going to be taking a look at another 2021 release. This time from one of the most respected and decorated pianists to ever come out of Japan. And this is her latest trio recording for ECM Records. And this is Yayumi Tanaka Sapukis Silence. And this album, having just finished listening to this, is a very different kind of album that I'm normally used to hearing from ECM. This album is a bit more freer, at times a little bit darker, and definitely leans more towards the avant-garde genre of music. So I would say this album, not a terrible album, I quite enjoyed it. It's not what you would call easy listening. It's one of those albums you really got to pay attention and listen very, very closely. So the band is Yoyomi Tanaka on piano, Christian Miaz Svensen on bass, and Per Odver Janesen on drums. So, as I mentioned, a little bit more freer, a little bit more spontaneous, a little bit more improvised, and certain moments was a little bit darker. And there is a lot of space in between the instruments and lots of silence. I've definitely noticed in some tracks there was a lot of space and silence between the notes and everything else that was going on. So when I said that this album kind of leans towards the avant-garde style of music, I would compare it to Marilyn Crispell and her work with the legendary bassist Gary Peacock. It's kind of like that, although maybe not as out there as those albums. This is kind of more like a little bit more laid back, but at the same time, still very out there, but just a little bit more freer. So let's just have a quick look. There they are. So all of the compositions are written and composed by Tanaka, with the exception of two tracks, uh, all written by the trio, and one by Tanaka and Joan Hensen. So we've got Bruins, Black Rain, Bruins 2, Ishe, Sapphire, Towards the Sea, and the title track, Sapugis Silence. So that's the longest track, which is like nine minutes, and the rest of the tracks are quite short. They're all clocking in at six minutes, four minutes, two minutes, and three minutes. It's a little bit of a short album. Altogether, I think it was like about a total of 36 minutes worth of music, but it's it's quite enjoyable. But as I said, it's not easy listening. And there she is, an amazing pianist. And lots of great bass work from Christian and great drumming from Jean Essen. So the standout tracks for me, I would probably say, is the title track, Sapugis Silence, Black Rain and Ruins and Ruins 2, but it's an enjoyable album. But as I said, it's not really what you'd call easy listening, but definitely worth checking out, I would say. And this is very different album to what you're normally used to hearing from ECM. And as always, production and sound quality is just top notch, courtesy of the one and only Manfred Aisha. And you know, you can't go wrong with ECM. ECM always continue to deliver top notch quality and they sometimes do surprise you. And this album definitely took me by surprise. So if you're expecting your traditional feel good piano, bass, and drums trio music. I don't think you're going to find it here. It's very, very different, but highly recommended. So there you have it Yayumi Tanaka trio, Sabugus si Silence. So that's going to be it from me. I'm going to um, wrap this up now. 
What's your favourite track from this album? Is it Ruins? Black Rain? Ruins 2? Ishe? Sapphire? Towards the Sea? Or the title track, Sapugus Silence? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite tracks. You know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until next time, take care everybody and stay safe. And once again, thanks for listening.